An 18-year-old is now behind bars after a missing teen's body is discovered by a pool. Elijah Foster isn't charged at this point with killing 17-year-old Mercedes Chico Sims, but he is accused of covering up her death. 11 Lies' Latasha Givens is live in Roswell. Latasha, you talked to Mercedes' family today. This is just a tragic time for them. That's right, Cheryl and Jeff. The family is just devastated. When I spoke with her mom this afternoon, she began to tear up just at the sound of her daughter's name. And they were too grief stricken to speak with us on camera, but they did share with us just a little of what they're going through. Elijah Foster, an 18 year old Roswell resident, was charged with concealing the death. Investigators say Foster was an acquaintance of 17 year old Mercedes Chico Sims. The Centennial High student was reported missing earlier this week after her mother says she sneaked out of the house. On Wednesday, her body was found by a pool in Roswell. We immediately conducted interviews with friends, neighbors, anybody who we could find and determined based off of uh, the investigation that he was involved with whatever occurred that evening. Police say she suffered blunt force trauma to her head, but because the medical examiner has not released a cause of death, the case remains a suspicious death investigation and Foster is not charged with murder. Do you believe anyone else is involved? We're interviewing a lot of people, um, so there could be other people involved. There could be other charges forthcoming, depending how the investigation continues. Police say Foster has a criminal background that includes theft, burglary, and statutory rape none of which are connected to the Sims case. The Sims family did not want to speak on camera, but they gave us this statement that reads in part. We are devastated to learn the body found is our precious daughter Mercedes. Beyond our grief, our commitment is to honor and remember the life of Mercedes. Obviously, this is very difficult on the family. This does provide some sense of closure initially. However, they are aware that this is still an active investigation and we're still pursuing leads and that there may be more developments in the near future. And Foster was in court today for a first appearance. His bond was denied because of those previous violent offenses. Fulton County Schools sent us a statement on the student's death. You can find that on our website at 11alive.com.